My dad always used to arm wrestle with my brothers and with me. It was competition and I love competing and I ended up being pretty decent at it. I came to Canada around four years ago and uh, I was always into arm wrestling back in my country. It was something I enjoyed doing as a little kid. I hope to be a professional arm wrestler someday. I would arm wrestle all through the military, but just never on a professional table. So it was like, you know, the ones you see in bars. I've been doing that my whole life. I was one of the bigger guys in my gym, so I thought this will be easy. I kind of got beat up on a little bit. Pain went away after a long time. Just thought, take another crack at it. When I started competing, I was not very good at all. And I could have given up pretty easily. I guess I didn't like to lose. For me, arm wrestling is just adrenaline, it's just amazing feeling, I, I can't describe it. It's excitement, it's fear. I absolutely love arm wrestling. The adrenaline of getting a good pin. My name is Magda, I run the Professional Arm Wrestling League in Canada. In September, I'll be competing in the Professional Arm Wrestling League. Uh, I have a right hand super match in Toronto. It's going to be a great card. So Rick Heiderbrook is going to take on one of the best in the world, Alex Kardesha. It's exciting to see it expanding into Canada and Magda running that portion of the league here. We're talking world class level. That I will be uh, my peak strength level. There's obviously a lot of physical preparation, hands, uh, wrists, a lot of bicep, shoulder. I use bicep curls, back exercises mostly. Anything that involves pulling. I use a sledgehammer for a top roller. The number one thing you're worried about is your riser coming up like this. A sledgehammer is the perfect way to work that. Cupping is how you defend yourself from another person's top roll so you don't get your wrist taken. I have always worked quite heavily on my top roll, learning to put a lot of pressure against my opponent's fingers into like an upward motion. It's a great sport and you can do it at any age. There's a 16 year old arm wrestler who's an animal. Arm wrestlers are like family, so it's like, you know, your buddies are saying hi, respect, but when you get on the table, it's, it's a fight. Boom, then you're on it. You're really playing a lot on feel. You can't always see what direction things are going, which direction they're applying force. It is certainly a lot more technical than it looks to the casual observer. Arm wrestling is similar to a martial art. There's nothing quite like stepping up to the table, ripping with your opponent, feeling them breathe. You're very close to each other. There's a lot of energy that's transferred between the two opponents. Sport arm wrestling in Canada has been there forever. It's not very recognized yet, so just trying to push the sport to the level where we can be on the map. <laughs>